uh, hi this is manish today i'm going to create a mapping variable in informatica so before uh, before uh, creating this mapping variable first uh, i'm going to create a target file target uh, table in target schema so to create target table uh, i have already this uh, script copy the script control c control v give some valid name uh, three so the target table name is employee underscore parameter underscore filter underscore three so we have created employee underscore parameters parameter underscore filter underscore three table in the target schema batch 11 is uh, our target schema now click on uh, uh, design uh, mapping designer so i have imported a source uh, table which is in scar schema employee is a is our source uh, table now to import target schema click on target designer target import from database give uh, username and password connect and import and import the table so in this case employee underscore parameter underscore filter underscore 3 is our target table now click on uh, mapping designer create mapping so name of the mapping is like mapping underscore m underscore filter underscore mapping variable drag and drop uh, employee table click on filter transformation John. Okay. Now create a mapping parameters and variables. So click on mapping menu. Click on mapping and the parameter variables click new give valid name so in this case department uh, number and parameter this is integer type okay now drag and drop your uh, target table so target table is this one control s double click on filter transformation click on properties tab click uh, on down arrow key so our condition is based on department number and uh, we have already created a par mapping par parameter which is uh, which we will uh, save in some parameter file so we will not hard code in informatica label we are maintaining one parameter file where we can uh, uh, change the value of department number okay so this is the good way to uh, uh, create a uh, this is good way to, way to maintain parameter file in informatica so we are not hard coding we are not uh, hard coding here in informatica label click on validate okay okay apply okay so click on workflow create workflow name is of this okay
Now double click on uh, uh, session, click on mapping. So uh, we will not hard code uh, source connection and target con uh, relational connection. We will keep that information in parameter file. So our source is actually coming from Scott, but we will not hard code. We will write one parameter, one variable here that is source. And for target, target, apply, okay. Now create one parameter file. So click on my computer, Informatica server info shared so here you have to create parameter file oh, parameter file will keep information like this first you have to give your folder name so your folder name is practice so practice should be here then dot workflow colon your workflow name so in this case, workflow name is, this is our workflow name. So copy your workflow name here. Then session name. So what is your session name? Click on workflow, double click, rename, control C, okay. This is your session name. Now give whatever condition you want to. So in this case, I am giving 10, department number 10 and our source is Scott and target is batch 11. Control C, copy here and this. Save as my computer C Informatica Power Center Server InfoShared. Give some valid name like uh, batch 13 dot parameter file. So this is the as 13 is our parameter file now control C workflow edit properties tab here uh, you have to give information that where is your parameter parameter file so that location you have to you have to give here in this value section control V this is the path or uh, folder uh, where we are keeping that parameter file now so your parameter file is this so control v now apply okay control s again uh, go to mapping control c your so this is your source variable now again go to workflow target control C control V now go to your mapping variable parameters and variables Control C and Control V save. Hmm. 
now run your workflow so your workflow is succeeded this is the message you are getting this is the workflow we are running now go to target schema click on target table this is the target table we have created so only department number 10 data is coming into target table thanks